This is Real Estate Talk Boston, joined right now by Wendy Adlerstein from First Light Home Care. Wendy, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. And uh, you and your company have uh, really kind of outside the box options when it comes to elderly care and living for non-medical situations. Share with us a little bit more about what you guys do. Absolutely. So there are a lot of times when uh, an elderly person wants to stay in their home. Home can be in a private home setting or assisted living. And uh, they can do that um, with a little extra help to stay safe. So First Light Home Care and home care in general um, can provide caregivers to come into the home uh, to provide help such as uh, bathing, dressing, assistance with toileting and med reminders, making meals, um, all kinds of assistance to help someone stay safe at home. Now, it's one of those topics a lot of people don't like to talk about the later stages in life, right? And it's tough to find out what your resources are. What I love about what you guys are doing is that the homeowner, they're able to stay in the place that they've probably been for a long time and where they're probably the most comfortable as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of times people are in homes for a lifetime and it's very emotional to want to uh, think about leaving that home and uh, there's a lot of attachment there. So being able to help somebody stay there is very important. We're going to have a segment coming up with Brian Harvey from Harvey Home Renovations. He's going to talk a little bit about how people can modify their home for Lay, for staying in the property long term, which is, which is a great option. So what's great about First Light Home Care is that you guys do offer services uh, to keep people in their homes yes. where they're most comfortable. Right. Uh, however, for those people that do have to get moved uh, and have to go into an elder care facility, mm -hmm. you can help them out as well. Definitely. So some people do move out of private homes and they go into assisted living facilities where uh, there are lots of amenities there and they can get a little bit of help sometimes in the mornings and a little bit help in the evenings. Um, but as those needs change for somebody, we can also provide private care in the facilities um, where somebody might need somebody more one-on-one -on -one throughout the day. We can send a caregiver in to do that as well as the same thing in any nursing home or rehab setting. If somebody needs one-on-one -on -one care, our caregivers can also go in and, and assist with personal care needs and other things like that. Which is a great addition. It's tough for a lot of people that are, are in that stage of their life and they just need someone right. to talk to. Talk to uh, and, and help them physically or emotionally, yeah. And for the families that are entering into this stage, I'm sure for a lot of people, they just don't even know where to start. Where yeah. would you suggest starting the research online, who can they talk to? Sure, um, it, there's lots of information online. Um, you can look up different um, approaches. There are uh, private geriatric care managers out uh, in, in the communities that can be a great resource um, uh, that people can find uh, to help them figure out to navigate this system in different services and the options that are available. That's a great way to go as well. And you guys service the greater Boston area? Uh, yes, we service, um, our office is actually First Light Home Care of West Suburban Boston. So we provide services uh, primarily west of Boston, up and down 128. Um, our office is in Needham, Massachusetts. Okay, yeah. well thanks for stopping by, Wendy. Thank you. And if you'd like to connect with Wendy and the team over at First Light Home Care to learn more about what they could do for you and your family, you can check out their website. Is it uh, firstlighthomecare.com? Uh, yes, uh, it's WSB for the West Suburban Boston dot firstlighthomecare.com. Thank you. Yeah. And we have more tips just like this right here on boston.com. Thank you. Joined right now by Brian Harvey, Harvey Home Modifications. Brian, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. We were just talking to Wendy Adlerstein from uh, First Light Home Care, talking about elderly people and their options when they're getting too old to, to kind of um, be, be by themselves and what modifications need to be made to the home. Kind of a new trend where people aren't necessarily moving into um, elderly homes, but staying put and just changing their home. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think it's always been a, a, a need. I think four out of five people um, want to stay at home long term, but now the boomers are getting to the point where they need mobility assistance and it's a much larger market now so you see 
people like Wendy and home care businesses exploding and we're seeing the same thing in, in real estate and in building as well. What are some of the common changes that you see to, to homes that are being modified? Yeah, so whether you have an immediate need for modifications, um, for accessibility modifications, uh, or whether you're just planning for it in the future, basically it comes down to accessibility, which means you want to access the entire home. And it comes down to mobility as well, which means you can get through the entire house in a walker, a wheelchair, or on your own two feet if you're in, in perfect health. Um, basically, it, you see a lot of renovations on the first floor. So that means adding a bathroom if maybe there's only a bath on the second floor, making that bathroom uh, completely wheelchair accessible, doing things like low threshold or no threshold showers. And then uh, you're seeing a lot of uh, accessibility structures to get into the house, whether it's a vertical platform lift, whether it's an addition uh, level with the ground floor, um, or it's uh, you know wheelchair ramps and structures like that. And I know they have um, those those I'm not going to call it a vehicle, but the the, the shuttle, so to say, yes. that can bring you up the stairs. Stairless. The stairless. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's what I was looking for. Is that common to put into a home, or do people actually move bedrooms and change the floor plan on a first floor to move the bedroom downstairs? Yeah, you know, a lot of times that's a good early fix for a homeowner, but once your accessibility needs become greater, um, if you're in a wheelchair or you're more physically disabled than when you had the stair lift put in, you're eventually gonna need greater needs, or you know, greater accessibility needs, and moving to the first floor is a better option. Now, if somebody is out there thinking about being proactive and, mm -hmm. and how they're gonna hand, handle this for themselves or for their family, when is the right time to reach out to you? And I'm guessing you, you'll be able to sit down with somebody to go over what their options are. Yeah, yeah, we're always happy to consult those things. Uh, there's a theory out there called universal design, which is basically uh, designing the house and renovating the house so that it serves homeowners of all capabilities, but it doesn't necessarily look like something that's been renovated strictly for mobility and accessibility purposes. Um, I would say that Planning earlier is better. Uh, usually when you're in perfect health is the best, or you know, perfect physical capability is the best time to do it. But you know, three quarters of the time it's after incident. And a lot of the times that project becomes much more difficult and much more pressing. Sure, like I said to Wendy, it's one of those topics that's tough to bring up amongst the yeah. family because you yeah. don't want to talk about getting older, but it's a yeah. reality. And if you can jump ahead and, and plan and get everything in place, it can benefit everybody involved. For sure. And uh, Brian, if people want to reach out to you directly, what's the best way to do that? I'd go to my website. It's harveyhomemods.com. Okay, fantastic. You guys do a great job partnering with uh, First Light Home Care. Thank you for doing what you do. And if you'd like to connect with Brian directly, once again, check out his website, harveyhomemods.com. We have more tips just like this right here below on boston.com.